Howdy YouTube. Working on the enclosed trailer today. It's a car mate. Pretty nice trailer. Uh, I'll go over that in another video. Right there. And uh, but what we're working on right now is uh, I'm gonna show you how to mount stuff. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Alrighty, I'm back. So, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to mount some stuff to your trailer. Now the problem is, your trailer's got plywood on it, thin stuff. I think it might be a quarter inch. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. I'm turn the. It's not plugged in. Whatever. Oh, uh, you can see. The, the only thing is you have to worry about poking through your sheet metal on the outside. Uh, I've been lucky so far on this trailer. Not so lucky on others, but uh, yeah. So they sell brackets and stuff to uh, mount stuff, random objects. But I'm going to show you how I tend to do it, and that's making my own. I've got this Bulldog Tractor Jack. It's uh, basically their version of the High Lift Jack, the ever popular High Lift Jack. Uh, got it on Tractor Supply, it's a pretty good deal. I think it was 80 bucks. Not bad, we've used it a lot. It's uh, good for jacking up goosenecks. But anyways, we want to mount it to the inside of the trailer that we use as a job trailer, sort of storage whatever but uh yeah so i made my own system and it is right here it's a two by three with a bolt and a knob now i used five sixteenths hardware i believe they were i'll go over it with the one down there and a knob so what i did is i cut a two by three six inches long Took a spade bit, went about halfway through it in the center, both lengthwise and widthwise. Uh, then took a 5 16 drill bit, went through the rest of the way. This is grade 8 hardware, because that's what I had. But uh, uh, 5 16 like I said, and I believe these are the 2.5 inch bolts. So I put a flat washer on the bolt shoved it through flat washer lock washer nut cinched her down good now you can get these in the uh, hardware section as well and these are universal knobs They're, they don't have anything in it but all you do you get the one for what you're using 5 16 size all right there universal knob two and a quarter and it fits five sixteen nuts so all you do as you can see there's no threads no nothing just take a nut drop it down in there shove her in nice and tight i also super glue mine i'm gonna do that later once i take them in the house because it's freaking cold out here but I'll do that later. I'll super glue the knot into the handle. But uh, yeah, then they just thread on. If I can get it lined up properly with one hand. My 
might have to do a little clearancing on that one, but thread it on that way. that now you just thread it through the hole put it through the hole and tighten her down straighten it up and we'll get to the next part here in a second all right that's where I want it that's where it's going uh, it's on top of the easy track so what I did is I put a old piece of strap that's been broken Use it as a spacer just to keep it up off of that. So we have a little bit of wiggle room to get it on and off. And uh, yeah, so screws to mount it to the wall. Now I did this, built this whole shelving unit. Nothing too fancy. But uh, it's sturdy. As you can see, I got supports and whatnot. But uh, what's holding it to the wall, it's, a, it's built of the same 2 by 3s What I screwed, used to screw to the wall, because a 2 by 3 is an inch and a half wide there, I used inch and 3 quarter screws. So they'll just hit the, the uh, plywood on the back. And if you sink them in a little bit, like those ones are, and those ones, if you sink them in a little bit, it'll bite into the plywood good enough to hold it. I put two in and started the other two, and she ain't going nowhere. So, uh, yeah, let's just put those two other screws in real quick and one more sorry if we don't crook it on you there Take it off real quick. At least loosen it. Yeah, and I'll put some more screws in there. Just to hold it nice. And... All right, I need to put you down. it's on the wall I took the jack off I'll put some more screws in just to hold it a little more snug and uh, yeah that'll be good and the beauty of this is you can always move it you know it's just plywood and it's just some screw holes There'll be plenty fun to, if you're super animal about it, I suppose you could wood putty them, but good enough for who it's for. All right, I'll put some more screws in, put the jack back on, and show you. All righty. I had the one board split when I put a screw in it, but it's fine. She looks good. And wait for the trailer to stop shaking. It's sturdy. That just centered up there. 
snug her down. She ain't going nowhere. It is securely mounted in your trailer, so it won't be flying around. So, yeah. All right. So, I've got some other ideas on some things to make to mount stuff. And uh, if those ever surface, I'll be sure to make a video on them. But, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys a little bit. Save you some money and get your trailer organized. But, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more. Uh, I've realized most of my views are from people who aren't subscribed. So go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when my videos come out. I am started doing two a week. Uh, until I, I'm creating a backlog of videos, so try to catch up a little bit, and hopefully I can keep up with two a week. But uh, that's the plan anyway. So now you could also find me on social media: it's Facebook, Instagram, K30 Crazy. So don't forget to go over there and follow me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Until next time, stay crazy.